Put it right in the bomb. Destroy all lines. And that's what I'm doing. How long do you think you'll do it? Till I'm finished. Till I'm finished. What up, everyone? Welcome to episode one of Graffiti Chase Stories. If you like what you hear, if you want to hear some more, hit the comments, hit the like button, and share it around, blow this shit up. Let me paint a picture for you. Saturday or Sunday, 10 years ago, me and the boys down at Tess's Bridge in Moorabbin, we were painting up on this ledge that you can see above the train just there. Here's what went down. Who would have thought on the bridge right above where we're painting, Divi Van pulls up. But we're young and dumb, so we start taking our time, packing our paint up, walking down this hill, you know, these cops aren't gonna jump a fence, follow us trackside. We get halfway down about where those bushes are, another train comes flying past. As this train's flying past, I'm about here. I'm scanning through the carriages to see if there's any cops or tickets on the train, whatever, anyone I know. I look through the window, I see three cops on the other side of the track getting ready to rush us. They look like Usain Bolt about to take off. So we hit the legs, we are absolutely gapping it, trying to get away from these cops before this train goes flying past. The only thing standing in my way of freedom is this fence and this massive drop. Little did I know, I hit the fence, hands hit the top, kicked my legs out, feet didn't even touch it, went flying, ate shit, missed the whole ledge, hit the deck on the concrete, hurt myself, I roll over and look back. As I'm on the ground, I've turned around and seen the cops at the fence banging their fists on the fence saying, we're gonna get out, we're gonna fucking kill you, you're fucked. So it's on. I start legging it. My ankles are fucked. I got two holes in each palm, pissing out blood from the top of the fence. I get up to the end of this little factory and I go, fuck, what way do I go? The closest thing I could find was this bush. I jump in, two minutes later, I can see from underneath the bush, divvies everywhere. So after what felt like a lifetime, which is really probably only an hour, I start hitting the back streets, heading back towards the station. I make my way down this alleyway. Up the end, there's a massive pile of train track rocks that have been there for years, still there to this day. I head over to it. I'm gonna jump the fence to go up to the station, up the back way. So as I'm coming up to this pile of track rocks around the left side, just about ready to jump the fence, this corner you can see here on the left, another Divi van just comes flying around that corner, tires screeching, just goes flying straight past me. Did not even see me at all. So at this point, I've used all my good luck. So I've jumped the fence, run down the tracks off into the sunset, got on a train, got away scot-free, and gone home, and I live to see another day. What's going on, everyone? Hope you enjoyed this episode of Graph Chase Stories. If you liked what you saw, share it around, smash the like button, hit the comments, let me know. I'm keen to do more. If you want to see more of this and more of this, I'm keen to do it. Have a good weekend, everyone. Stay safe.